Today is World AIDS Day, and I want to share a quick message of appreciation of the leadership of young people as they continue to be a guiding and resilient force within the HIV response. During COVID-19, regional networks such as Youth Lead, Youth Voices Count, and YPEER have been at the forefront of the response, supporting youth-led organizations at the country level in mitigating the impact of the pandemic on young key populations. In Asia and the Pacific, 99% of young people in the region who acquire HIV belong to vulnerable key populations. Nowadays in Vietnam and many countries in Asia and the Pacific, the HIV new infection is still increasing dramatically among young key population. The biggest challenge in Sri Lanka to end AIDS by 2030 is the lack of attention paid to the key affected population. We know that many young key populations are not accessing services out of fear, prejudice, stigma, discrimination, lack of available youth-friendly services, and this needs to change. Especially under the impact of the COVID pandemic, we seem to be losing focus on our commitment to ending AIDS by 2030. To achieve that goal, we can't just talk. We need more efforts and investment that are inclusive, comprehensive, evidence-based, and community should be at the center. And this includes ensuring their meaningful engagement in decision-making spaces, allocating resources to support their programs and advocacy, and more importantly, empowering them as leaders. We need to increase the capacity of civil society organization for rich, key affected population. Also, YKPs. Young people are innovators, change makers, and influencers. We should look to them to help guide us towards ending AIDS as a global health threat by 2030. My message to you is that to end AIDS, end inequalities, and end pandemics, we must support our youth leaders in any way that we can.